Hi, I'm Debbie Hughes, and if you're new here, I have a blog and website, Lime Duda Design, and here on YouTube, I share videos with how-to tutorials of the techniques and products I use. You'll always find links to these products in the YouTube description below, such as the Samsa Stamp All Seasons Tree Set I'll be using today. I love to see simple silhouettes painted on watercolour blocks, and that is where this plan started out. The colours I wanted to use, though, were important to me. I wanted to keep with my own preferred palette of muted shades while still representing the four seasons. I'm getting ahead of myself, having four blocks of colour in a row next to each other. I knew the slimline card size would be ideal. To ensure I had a card that would fit in an envelope I had, I took a Samsung Stamp slimline envelope and cut and scored a piece of Nina Desert Storm card in the £100 weight for the card base that would fit in the envelope. The handy rulers on the guillotine make it easy to work out what size your envelope is and then create a card base just a tad smaller. I then cut a piece of Archer's watercolour card to be slightly smaller than the card base. I took the card front and worked out the dimensions I wanted for the watercolour blocks. I wanted a nice even spacing with a white border around the edge and separating each block. I'm in the UK and the ruler I have is in centimetres, so I'm mixing my units here. I used a half centimetre spacing. With the guidelines worked out, I gently erased the lines so that I could see them, but that once painted, they wouldn't be visible. You can use an eraser for this, or if you have it, I prefer a kneaded eraser, which gently lifts the pencil lines. Again, I kept the lines light so that I could still see them, and then used the lines to guide where I added the masking tape. I cut strips of masking tape to size to fit between the blocks. Finally, I gave everything a good press down to ensure the watercolours wouldn't seep underneath. I played around mixing Daniel Smith watercolours until I had a colour palette that I liked. Now these might not be traditional Four Seasons colours. If I was going for accuracy, I'd choose fresh lime green for spring and deep sap green for summer. Although I'd probably choose similar colours for autumn and winter, a rich orange and a pale icy blue. However, I wanted the colours to flow together more and so I chose a light creamy colour for spring and a muted green for summer. The colours I chose were mixes of each other. I used buff titanium mixed with a touch of duochrome autumn mystery for spring, perylene green mixed with a touch of buff titanium for summer, transparent red oxide and a touch of duochrome autumn mystery for autumn, and then finally a mix of buff titanium with Mayan blue genuine and a touch of duochrome autumn mystery. Once I'd got my colour palette sorted, I then turned to the masked off blocks on my card front. I used the mixes of colour I'd chosen and a round brush. I think I was using a size 10. For each block, I picked up the paint with a clean brush and painted along the bottom third of a block. I then rinsed the brush slightly and used this watery mix to draw the colour over the rest of the block. I did go back in and add touches of more concentrated colour in places. The best idea with watercolour like this is not to mess with them too much and leave them to dry naturally. Once dry, I used Perfect Pearls powder and a wet brush and mixed together until I could splatter over the four blocks. I also used white gouache too and splattered liberally with that. The splatter to me adds an ethereal look to the blocks that will add emotion to the backgrounds. For me, that is what muted colours represent. They have more emotion and affect the way I feel when I look at them. I dried the splatters off with a heat tool and then peeled back the masking tape to reveal the beautiful sharp lines of the blocks of watercolour. Here's the All Seasons tree set I'll be using today for the tree silhouettes. There are three tree options and the two smaller trees have leaves you can stamp over the top, but I'll come back to that in a minute. I chose the medium sized tree as it fits nicely in the blocks of colour. Using a pencil I marked the central point in each block and then stamp the tree in Versafine Claire Nocturne ink. After stamping the tree for the first block, I didn't want to get the remaining blocks messy while aligning a stamp which likely still had some ink left on it. So I used a transparent grid overlay to one, protect the card, and two, align the tree correctly. Once I'd got everything in place, I could then remove the acetate to stamp the tree. I repeated the process until all four trees were stamped. Back to the stamp set and you can see here that there is a set of leaves to match this tree silhouette. However, I wanted to use the watercolours I'd mixed to keep the same palette going. 
Also for the spring tree, I painted few leaves as they were just so purling. Um, and I painted those in a light creamy green mix. For the summer tree, I painted a full leaf canopy of deep green leaves. For the autumn tree, I went for fewer leaves in a rich orange. I also painted a few fallen leaves too. And then finally for the winter tree, I got out the white gouache again and added some snow to the branches and the more splatter over the background. Having the fallen trees on the autumn tree scene got me thinking. And so I painted a light wash of white gouache to ground the winter tree. For the earlier seasons, I also added a light background wash to match. I added white dots to the summer tree to open the canopy a little and then cored it down and added foam adhesive to the back of the panel and added it to the card base. For the seasonal labels, I painted the same colours I'd used on the card, but in slightly more concentrated colour, and then treated with anti-static powder before stamping the four seasons in clear embossing ink, sprinkling with white embossing powder and heat setting. I also stamped a sentiment from the All Seasons tree set on black card and white heat embossed that. I trimmed out all the pieces and then using a T-square ruler to help me align on straight, I added all the labels and the greeting with foam tape. To finish off the card, I cut a piece of ivory card and stamped a greeting from the Inside Friendship Messages set and stamped it in Nocturne ink before adding it to the inside of the card with glue runner. And there you go, a Four Seasons watercolour tree card in the slimline size, made to perfectly fit a slimline envelope. I'm glad I stuck to my colour palette, and although the colours aren't traditional, I still feel each block represents the seasons, with a sparsely covered spring tree with new leaves unfurling, to the full canopy of summer, rich orange tones of autumn, and bare icy branches of winter. There are links in the YouTube description to the products that I've used today, as well as a coordinating link to the blog post over at LimeDoodoDesign.com where you'll find more details of this card as well as a giveaway as part of a blog hop currently ongoing. I want to thank you for joining me and if you've enjoyed this tutorial I'd be glad if you'd give it a thumbs up and to subscribe to this channel. Also if you'd like to get notified when a new video is out don't forget to hit the bell button next to the subscribe button too. Thanks and I'll see you next time.